students head back to school, many risk getting lost in that big crowd, right? Class size has been an ongoing problem here in Arizona. We've been hearing from many parents and teachers these first couple weeks of the school year about overcrowded classes. And as Team 12's Joe Dana is working to verify where that problem actually stands. The research is clear. Smaller classes give students a better chance of success. Groups like the National Science Teachers Association recommend no more than 24 students per class, and other groups recommend classes of younger learners to be in the teens. The Arizona Auditor General reports student-to-teacher ratios haven't changed over the past three years and stand right at 18.5 students to every teacher. But that number doesn't tell the story of what's happening in many classrooms around the state. Former Arizona Teacher of the Year and State Senate candidate Christine Marsh posting this on social media last week. Note the camping chairs in this photo. We have a class size problem in Arizona. I have 37 freshmen in one class and I've heard about classes with more. We run out of chairs and desks. Elementary school teacher Janie tells us she has five classes of seventh grade readers averaging 33 per hour. Rochelle tells us 35 in my son's freshman lab biology class. Kelly tells us my daughter has 40 students in her algebra class. With an infusion of new money to schools, it's not yet clear whether class sizes are getting better or worse in Arizona. The Arizona Department of Ed tells us there simply is not a reliable number that is self-reported by schools for teacher to student ratios. All right, that was our Joe Dana. And let us know what you're seeing in Valley Classrooms. Join the discussion right now on Facebook. If you're concerned about the amount of students in your child's class, speak up. Tell the principal, your school board, and lawmakers. And don't be afraid to ask the school for some extra support for your student.